everyone. Hello, I'm Faridun. And tonight, <laughs> I went to, I told you, support me when I have a joke. <laughs> tonight, I'm gonna talk about headache. So if you have a head, which I check, you all have. <laughs> okay, I'm learning this. <laughs> then this talk is for you because you either have experienced headache before or I'm gonna give you one tonight. <laughs> Cephalgia or hemicrania is a highly prevalent disease <laughs> in high burden on society. Pathophysiology of the disease is not clear, but probably CGRP or PACAP is a role, has a role in the disease. <clears throat> This was a demo of how boring scientists can be. <laughs> but don't worry. This is David and Satan juicing fun out of me. <laughs> so tonight, hopefully, I'm gonna be a different scientist. <clears throat> this is my title, my friends, my colleague, they know me for this. Big Head Pain. Why? If you may have noticed, I have a big head, <laughs> and I study head pain, headache. I actually fight with headache like Harry Potter fighting Voldemort. <laughs> and I myself, like everyone else, I experience headache. Almost everyone will experience headache. <clears throat> that is why we say, if you have a head, then you get headache. <laughs> so the question is, what if you don't have a head? <laughs> Problem solved. You don't get headache. This is my research these days. The only problem we have is you die. If we can solve that very tiny issue, then we can eradicate headache forever. But so far we cannot. I'm still working on it. So everyone, almost everyone, will experience headache at least once in their lifetime. It can be for lots of different reasons. It can be because of very minor things like dehydration. <laughs> yeah, minor. Or it can be because of serious things like brain tumor. I changed my slide because they told me not to make jokes about sensitive topics like brain tumor. So someone here has brain tumor, I don't tell you which one. You just... <laughs> Sit and ask me to do it. So you just remember that brain tumor can cause headache. But some other people like me, they get headache for other reasons like visa application. <laughs> I'm from Iran. So anytime I apply for visa, it's a huge trouble, a big headache for me. Some other people get headache because of a disease named migraine. So migraine is a disease that one of the symptoms is headache. It has other symptoms like Sensitivity to light, sensitivity to noise, dizziness, neck pain, nausea, vomiting, lots of other symptoms. Not everyone with migraine gets all of these symptoms. But there is a symptom that everyone with migraine experience that one. It turns people around you into doctors. <laughs> if you don't believe that, you just tell to people that you have a headache and then you will see the miracle. So like in two seconds they enroll and graduate from medical school and they give you lots of comments, the shitty ones. <laughs> These days we know more about migraine. We know that one in every four families has one member with migraine disease. We know that three out of every four people with migraine are females. We know that one in every seven people globally has migraine disease. Here comes another theory to eradicate headache forever. 
if one in every seven people gets migraine, what if we are six people? <laughs> problem solved. The problem is people don't listen. They all like to hang out in large groups. And so that's why we still have one billion people in the world with migrant disease, five million just in Australia. This thing is happening. We cannot eradicate headache or migraine, but we have to learn to manage it. There are lots of ways to manage migraine. We have good medications that we can use, or there are lots of non-drug ways, like inner peace. <laughs> Same this animation. We should learn the triggers and try to avoid them, or if we cannot, learn to live with them. For example, one trigger is alcohol. It triggers migraine attack, even if you don't have migraine triggers headache. The other one is chocolate, especially if your colleagues eat your chocolate. <laughs> Direct sunlight. So it's good to have sunnies when we go uh, to beach. Or we should have earplugs if there are these recently graduated doctors around us <laughs> that they give us like, lots of comments. <laughs> Physical activity. It helps, regular physical activity helps reducing future attacks, but it has an indirect effect. If the earplugs doesn't work, we know how to solve the problem. <laughs> Many people use this metal. I believe education is the most important part of migrant management. Without education, we will hear this sentence. Migraine is just a headache. What is wrong with this? Why something like this can ruin everything? What if the person who says this is a policymaker? How can you change things? What if that person is your boss? How can you explain your problem to that person? What if that person is your partner? This one I understand very well. <laughs> My partner is German. <laughs> Not because like German is bad, but she has never applied for any visa. <laughs> and any time I have headaches because of visa application, she says, don't worry, it's just a visa. <laughs> like, really? When we travel together, she is a tourist and I'm the terrorist. <laughs> Unless otherwise it's proven. Lack of education is the reason that myself and other pretty people a few years ago <laughs> we joined this headache pose trend on Instagram. Yeah, I'm sorry about it. But why this thing is bad? Things like this are the reason that people with migraine have to dodge lots of sentences every day. Sentences like, don't be a party pooper, it's just a headache. Or like, I'm working, I had a headache, but I'm still working. Or like, I told you to drink water, you didn't, it's your fault. <laughs> so about 15% of people here, like 10 to 15 people here, should have migraine based on stats. Like, hopefully you have, because otherwise my stats is <laughs> in trouble. It's not like I wish for that, but please have. <laughs> the other 85%, please try to learn more about headache, learn more about migraine, and be a good panda. Migraine is not just a headache. So in order to understand my talk better, I hope you all get headache tonight. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, I don't hope for that. I help you drink alcohol. <laughs> Give them alcohol, like. <laughs> so I hope you remember this talk and it is useful. I'm Faridun, but if, if you cannot remember my name, remember my big head and my field of study, which is head pain. Thank you so much. Woo!